Hey reviewers and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to be fitting the BMS performance intake to my BMW 540i xDrive to give it a bit more boost and to lay the foundations for future mods. To begin with I'm just going to show you what the stock air intake sounds like and then we're going to move on to the fitting and I'll talk you through it. Alright, so moving on to the fitting then. First of all, this is the standard air box. As you can see here, these are your captive screws. It's a hex bolt to take them off. Down here, you've got a straightforward screwdriver, undo that, and a couple of Allen key bolts on the map sensor itself. Use the flat head just to pry the thing off. Comes off nice and easy. You'll hear a click on the white tab. Take it out and put it to the side. You can tuck it behind the resonator. It makes life really, really easy. Once you've done that, very carefully remove the map sensor. I had to do it with one hand with a camera, which was a little bit precarious, but easy enough to sit it down to the side. You'll need it in a little while. Next, I'll speed the section up to make it easy, but all you need to do here is undo everything ready for the airbox removal. Remove the airbox. As you can see, these bits are captive, so you shouldn't lose them. Sit it down to the side. Remove your current air filter. I had the pipe across one, which was good, but we now have da -da -da -da, the BMS intake. Oh yes, bring on the power. So from here, you need to refit the map sensor. It only goes in one way as far as I am aware. Just pop it back in, and then you're gonna bolt those back down just where they were in the original position. Now what you're going to want to do is leave a little bit of play on that bracket because as you put this back in, do it gently and it will line up with the bottom of the airbox. Pop it back in there and then the next step will be to give these a bit of a tighten up ready for the final phase. So flat head on the Jubilee clip, tighten that one up, get that one pretty much ready to rock and roll once the air filter is seated. Reconnect your cables to the map sensor itself, nice and easy, whip it round, pop it in click down on the white tab, job done. Next thing, final repositioning of the filter, make sure everything is good and when it is, give everything a good tighten up for the last time, final checks and you're pretty much ready to rock and roll. And there it is, BMS filter fitted, everything is good, final checks and again, there is that bracket where you've got the crease, it sits on the air box so it lines up, everything is nice and snug and secure. Now let's hear what it sounds like. So there you go, easy fitting and sounds awesome. Now I'm gonna do some cuts so you can hear the car from the outside and then we're gonna take it for a drive. Now does that sound good or does that sound good, right? So now you properly hear that turbo spool up and you properly hear the induction. And it's awesome, I absolutely love it, honestly. Really, really awesome. One thing to point out actually, let me just show you this. Now my car still has the intake resonator, okay? So if anybody's got that and you were fearful that you're not gonna get a good sound, phew, rubbish, you'll get a really good sound. And what I would say is don't take that resonator off unless you're going to get a proper tune done because you get all kind of codes thrown up and everything. Whereas this is literally bolt on and happy days. Now what I want to do next is we're going to go for a drive with it and I'm going to get the cameras up in the car as well, get everything hooked up so you can hear what it sounds like for real. But without further ado, let's go. Right then gang, so you've seen me install the BMS filter and you've had a look at the car and you've heard it from the outside. Now we're going to take it on a drive. So don't worry about me and don't worry about so much what you can see. It's more about what you can hear. So I want to give you the proper driver's perspective without any microphone trickery or anything in the intake. This is what you're actually going to hear. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> and 
don't know how much of that you can hear, but you get a lovely burble once you've got the induction kit on there. Right, window down a fraction. Can you hear it? Right, let's go for a drive. Now, what I'll also say as well is I'm running the JB Plus unit as well. And I think these two, you know, they work really well together. They synchronize. So you've got more boost needed from the turbo. This intake delivers, right? Gives you everything that you need. What you get is a lovely induction burble. Nice bit of meaty engine noise now. Whereas before it was all a little bit too quiet, you know? <laughs> oh, it's rapid. Now you can get it to do a lovely whistle noise if you put it into Sport Plus or Sport Gearbox and then put it into manual. What you can do as well, build up that throttle slowly and then listen. <laughs> Beautiful induction whistles, absolutely awesome. And it's just what this car needed, it really kind of brings it alive. Back into Sport, drop it down a little bit. Epic, epic. Definitely a winning combination, guys. Honestly, JB Plus or you know an alternative tuner, but with this intake, you're really going to maximise those gains. Sounds good, works well, no negatives. Takes five minutes to fit. Absolute winner, winner. So the question is, was it worth it? Well, here's a draggy run in my car using the BMS intake and the JB Plus unit. And as you can see, yeah, we got really good results actually. Stock time's meant to be around 4.6 to 4.8 seconds, and this has done it in less than 4.2. So absolutely winner, winner for that one. And for a big and heavy car, it's a really impressive game. So there you have it guys, it's a quick and easy mod and I'm really happy with the outcome. I think it makes the engine sound way better and it gives it more bass, more feel and a sweet induction roar and whistle. Shout out to Burger Motorsports for helping me make this video. Details and a link for them are in the description. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a thumbs up because that really helps my channel. And if you like car reviews and content, especially tuning this 540i platform, then subscribe to the channel. It's totally free and the best way you can help this channel to grow. So thanks very much for watching and as always, stay safe, have fun and I'll see you on the next one.